Hi, it's Lachem from American Runabouts, and another update on the Invader. Boat was sanded and fed and uh, putty and fairing and sanding, and uh, I'm just sparing you all of this. You've seen it on the top side. So as you can see, there's two coats of epoxy primer on it, uh, so it get last bit of sanding because we put it on pretty thick. So there's a couple of runners and, and stuff which um, I need to to fix and then she'll get the first coat of paint. The color will not be that much of a difference because um, it's an ivory beige tone that goes um, on the bottom which is pretty similar to what the epoxy looks like. As you can see I have this PVC pipe that um, before I flip it back um, will go on the inside in the bow part um, underneath the, the deck. So cables can um, be routed through this because uh, especially in these narrow boats, if you put your feet in, you sometimes get entangled, uh, entangled in cables hanging down and then you rip them off, which is obviously something I want to avoid. So I put them in this. So I'll take a heat gun and um, bring this into a, uh, bend this into an S-curve that follows the deck and then I'll laminate it in with a couple of stripes of fiberglass. And um, I'll just show you in a minute. We also put the, um, the tank filling um, funnel in, laminated it in, so I'll show you that, but I have to take the camera and go underneath. And what also is finished is the helmet that you can see here. Um, we'll sand it down again and then got another couple of coats of, um, of clear coat, so it's uh, super nice and smooth now. I will wet sand it now and then give it a bit of polish and then that should give you a really good idea of what the final paint um, on the invader will look like. All right, I'll just grab the camera and then get underneath and show you some of the details. So the helmet turned out really nice as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good example. So the boat itself, yeah, you can see there's a couple of runners here that we need to sand down before we start painting. What I really like is the fact that uh, the edge came out, this transition, as I mentioned before, came out really nice. Um, there's no gaps anymore, no rivets or whatever. So if this is painted, that will come out really good. And as you can see, the, the uh, stern section was a bit like reconstructive surgery because as the boat was completely apart, it was um, quite a challenge to get it all back and uh, it was it was bent a little bit and obviously there was a crash in the past somewhere. So it was not that everything was fitting super good. So you can see all these transitions here. Um, actually, I think when the paint's on and this uh, center part here with stainless steel where the, where the engine goes on, it will, it will look really good. All right, I'll just show you the funnel the filling cap. Um, there is a drilling, oops, where's my finger? It's not so easy here. Uh, here, yeah, here's the the drilling and um, you can see here on the top side, it's a bit dark in here, but uh, you can see the funnel, uh, the re-welded one, it's fiberglass in here, so rock solid. And so when it's turned around, the tank will go in here all right, that's uh, that's it so far. Um, I'll start painting now, and then you get the, uh, the next update. All right, it's been a couple of days. Um, as we were in Germany, and it became pretty cold. The epoxy primer did not dry too well, so I had to wait a couple of days till it's really hot. Um, as you can see, we have this nice construction on top there with the EV hardening lamps. Um, just switched them off right now because they interfere with the microphone. So now all good. Um, sanded it down today once more, as you can see. So it's complete smooth. There was a couple of runners. I think I showed you last time. And now we're going to paint. Finally, it took a while. So the entire bottom will become ivory, beige, whatever you want to call the color. I, I think actually it was ivory white. And um, 
yeah, then we'll take it from there. So I think we'll just uh, get two coats of, of ivory on there today, then let it dry, put the, uh, the hardening lamps on overnight, and then tomorrow we'll give it a coat of clear coat, or two, two coats of clear, and then it will stay for a couple of days to get uh, really solid before we turn around so we don't get any press marks when it's then standing on the paint and we start working on the top part. In the meantime, we got tons of parts. Um, actually, I think now everything's here. I also got the decals, which I do not have here right now. Anyway, they arrived, the name, so everything. Um, so as soon as the paint shop's done, she'll go in the workshop of Alvin, we'll start with the interior, I'll start with the engine, so a little bit more space in here because the next project's already in front of the door. It's a Glastron uh, GT160 that needs a new transom, new floor, custom-made tank, and so on and so on. And so we need to speed up a little bit on this one. So let's start painting. All right, done. Um, first coat is on. I'm pretty happy. Basically no runners, no nothing. It's a, still a bit cold in here, so as soon as we finish the video, we'll um, switch the, the lights on, the heating on, or back on, and then this will sit for uh, 12 hours. Tomorrow we'll see if there's some small spots that we uh, that need some, some minor sanding or whatever. We'll get a second coat and uh, then wet and wet some clear and uh, then we're done. But uh, I think this gives you now the first impression how it's going to be. I always said the, the color on the, on the bottom is relatively similar to what the epoxy looked like. Actually now you can see it's a difference. It's, uh, I, th I think it's a pretty, pretty nice beige. And um, yeah. I think that's it for today. It stinks like hell in here. I have no mask anymore. So finished for today and I'll get back to you when uh, we turn the boat around.